chair the Foreign Affairs Committee, but for many years I've been a member of the Hellenic Caucus, and as my wife knows, I am a real enthusiast for Greek culture, for Hellenic culture, and, uh, and thus I think that we in the United States don't have a proper appreciation of the Enlightenment and the fact that the, the founders of this republic were really borrowing, you know, concepts from the Greek ideal, from the democratic ideal, uh, not just not just the idea of democracy, but the hope to base a system on reason and logic, the autonomy of the individual, the rights of the individual, all that is Hellenic civilization, all that gave us the original foundation for Western civilization, that is Greece. It's um, something of our uh, concern when we see in Cyprus what has happened with the occupation, the invasion of nor northern Cyprus, uh, what has happened to the culture, uh, our desire to speak out more forcefully on that. Uh, and now, with Greece's uh, right off of southern Cyprus, with the rights of Greece and the rights of southern Cyprus to, um, uh, to the oil there, to have Turkey make the demand mm -hmm. that that is somehow all the Mediterranean is what? Going to be a, a Turkish lake, Turkish territory? No, it's not. We, there are, are international rights here. And so the United States feels compelled uh, to stand beside Cyprus and beside Greece on these issues uh, in order to ensure the stability, the rule of law, and that rights are not violated any more than they've already been. Business-wise, where could we work together? Well, I think uh, on trade and investment issues, it's very important. Uh, we all we see Greek entrepreneurs all around us here, uh, in, including, you know, uh, this home is owned by a Greek. So owner. I think we should have more cooperation and investment in Greece to develop Greece. I think more Americans should have Greece on the map. I don't know, honey, did you enjoy our trip to Greece? Yes. <laughs> Let's go a little bit to Syria. Uh, would you like to talk about your position there? Well, yeah, I am very, very concerned. Uh, the situation in Syria is very complicated. Uh, there is no doubt that there's great question as to, without the support of the international community and without knowing the answer of who would come to power, uh, that this creates a situation where, in my opinion at this time, uh, we're better served trying to calm the situation. One of the things we can do is perhaps cooperate with the international community now to get the poison gas out of the country. If we do no more than that at this time, we've made a contribution. But uh, I think that's where our focal point should be, because that might be able to unite the international community towards a cause which we all believe in um, and which is frankly in everyone's interest because if these canisters get into the hands of the foreign fighters, let us say they get into the hands of uh, uh, Chechnyans, I don't think it's hard to believe that uh, they would find their way into Moscow and instead of subway bombings we might see gas. Likewise it would be a threat to the United States, to Europe. Uh, to the whole region. What do you think of the president's stance that what was two, three days after that he went out and he basically threatened the country with an attack? The one point you can make is there is a credible threat out there on, on the... Was it necessary? Was it necessary to make the threat? Well, I'm not sure the answer to that. Mm -hmm. But we have the, the regime in Damascus's attention and we have probably the cooperation of Russia now in terms of trying to remove the poison gas. And I think as we, we look to the region, you know, it's the stability in Greece that and, and the relationships that Greece has uh, with these communities, and especially with Christians in these communities, that can help provide some guidance. And I would suggest our policymakers need to be in close consultation with our friends in Athens right now uh, as we try to help resolve and calm the tensions, for example, in Egypt, as we try to bring order out of chaos uh, in, in, in Syria. One last thing about the immigration reform. Do you want to tell us a little bit what this would mean 
if the law passed for the Greeks? Because there's a lot of people that they look into that. Well, I think the, the important point is to focus it on skills, because most of the Greeks who come to the United States are highly educated, highly skilled, and that is very beneficial to the United States and beneficial to the Greek community. Technically, what would they have to do? How this will be once it passed? How these people could come here? Would they apply for what kind of visa? What kind of skills? You know, I don't know if you know these details well, sure. yet. I, well, some of this is yet to be worked out, so we can't give you a definitive answer. But uh, to the extent that people uh, you know, have education, have skills, which from our experience in the Greek community, that's a, the, the great uh, advantage that the Greek community has. Uh, this, this will be to their benefit if we can work this out on that basis. So we will see in the ensuing months uh, as, as we work it out. And one final comment about the event today. I think Van grew up on an island. He loves islands. And he's found his island here in, in uh, Huntington Harbor. Uh, we've had a wonderful evening with many of our friends in the Greek community. My father and I decided to host the event for Congressman Ed Royce because he really is one of the very most important members in Congress right now. As the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, he is really so important for Greece and for Cyprus and for all of the issues that we so strongly support. Uh, Ed has been a longtime friend. Uh, actually, all our business is in his congressional district here in California and it's just a really great Phil Helene and so we wanted to bring the Greek community together tonight to support Ed as he goes off to Washington and supports all of the issues that are most important to Greece and Cyprus.